Hey, you got Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and together we are the, the Debt Free, free couple. couple. Okay, today we're going to talk to you about something that is very, very valuable. No matter what it is that you do in life, this particular topic is valuable, and it is time management. Everybody has time, but it's just a matter of how well you manage it that will determine where you go from this day to the next day. And I'll let Miss Smith lay it off and i pick it up. Okay, so we have a couple of tips that we can share with you um, as it relates to properly managing your time. Uh, one of the things, which is one of the things that I do personally, is creating a schedule. And I like to make a schedule day to day before I get my day started. I write down everything that I want to accomplish in that day. And as I accomplish them, I go ahead and I mark them off. And that's one key to it. Now, when you're making your schedule and sticking to that schedule, just make sure that you allot enough time for that activity and other things that you know that are also mandatory because there are certain things that are mandatory and depending on your situation everyone has a different situation make sure you have someone else that's in place or the people that are directly connected to you that respect what you're doing as it relates to you allotting a certain amount of time to do xyz because if the people that are at your core don't respect what you're doing then you need to establish some guidelines behind that as well but once you x those things off the list make sure you have a nice allotment of time that doesn't interfere with anything that's mandatory and you know some people make lists some people use something such as a never note set schedules and don't depend on your memory at all if you can avoid you know just trying to remember something just go ahead and Write it down or put it into some type of system that will remind you. And you, before you know it, you'll be knocking out stuff one thing at a time. It's not a rush. It's all about strategy. Okay. And another big thing um, is eliminating distractions. Um, if you can go without your cell phone, without answering your cell phone for a little bit of time, if it's not needed for the task that you're trying to complete, Try putting away your cell phone to avoid getting any type of calls or text messages that are going to distract you. And if, you know, Facebook isn't used for, you know, uh, one of your tasks for making money, then eliminate Facebook as well. Because Facebook can be a very big distraction as far as all of the videos and the pictures and different conversations going on. It's so easy to get wrapped up in Facebook. As well as any other social networking site. Yes, that is very true. Facebook is is pretty much in place to distract you, but you can use it for greater good. It's just a matter of what you allow. So most of the time, whenever you're getting online, if you're trying to conduct business, a mentor of mine or mentor of ours said, you get online to get offline. So don't get on there scrolling down your timeline because chances are it's a lot of negativity and one status read leads to comments being read and next thing you know you're you know you and taking things that are unnecessary and they don't really you know value your time and time is our most valuable asset is more valuable than money is more valuable than materialistic things it is one thing that once it's used, you never get it back, but you still get a fresh start for the next day if you know you live to see the next day. So you never really exhaust all of your time. You know, you start everyone starts off with the same amount of time. So if they start off with the same amount of time and they get more done than you got done, then you know who has an excuse to make because everyone has an equal amount of time. The time is one of those things that is more valuable than any other thing other than you know your loved ones and family that you could possibly even think of okay um, and another way to successfully manage your time is knowing what uh, your overall goal is if you know what your overall goal is you're allotting a certain amount of time making a schedule it'll be easy for you to actually 
you know, work towards achieving that goal. If you don't know what your goal is and you're kind of all over the place, then it'll, it'll be really hard for you to effectively manage your time. And make sure you prioritize because it's a level of priorities mm -hmm. that's involved with time management. You put the things at the top of the list that, you know, that'll be the most beneficial for what it is that you're trying to do. And, you know, before you know it, after you've knocked out most of these priority goals, short term goals, you had a big piece of a puzzle put together that started with just one piece. You know, so just strategically place those pieces of priorities together. And before you know it, you have a big picture in the end. OK, and along with um, prioritizing, you know, sometimes you can list things in the order of how fast or how slow you can get them accomplished. You know, sometimes if it's something that you can accomplish pretty quickly and go ahead and scratch off your list, you may want to handle that first. You know, depending on the person, you may want to handle that last. So these are, you know, quite a few tips that we have as far as uh, effectively managing your time. So we definitely hope it helped you out. We really do. And uh, as always, make sure you stay tuned for what's yet to come. We have plenty of valuable information. Subscribe. We look forward to being with you again. All right. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, signing out.